Hello everyone and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, I completely forgot where we left off, so... Oh, okay. Kingdom of Nords. Okay, so we just have to attack a Nord village, which... Will hurt our honor, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do at this stage. Alright. Preferably not near a castle, but, you know, you take what you can get. And I apparently also have two prisoners to sell, so I should uh, keep an eye out on that. <laughs> Even deserters are running from us. Although I'm pretty sure they could take it at this point. And just because a unit is running from you doesn't mean they always will. Sometimes they'll uh, just completely turn right around and go after you. Now the reason why I don't like attacking towns near castles is simply because um, while you're kind of trying to rob them, they can send reinforcements from the castle. They won't always do this, but it's possible. I'm going to be a bit sneaky here and... Oh, okay. Well, fine, I will take a hostile action then. Take the supplies, which is nothing. Again. Is that complete? No. Okay, well, I better get out of here. Try this one. I don't know why that uh, relationship value changed. Four Nords, alright. And again, nothing. Hmm. I guess I'll have to look for a caravan while I'm kind of roaming around here. Way too slow for my own good. Thought it was gonna charge after me for a second. <laughs> Besiege the town? Mm, no. Oh. Leave. I'm not going to attack a town while he's right near it. I will attack a caravan if he's near it though, because uh, hopefully I can run from that. Um, 
Tavern. There we go. Okay, this is the guy that pays 50 no matter what. I'm actually going to try to recruit her. I'm going to get out of here. Oh yeah, I was going to sell stuff. Um, arms. Trading, uh, I guess, real quick. Basically, you wait around town, and it, it will tell you if you buy grapes here and sell them at Beluca, I get a profit of 93. Now, that can change before you get there. But it's a decent way of making money if you have a high enough trade skill, which five is, I guess, decent for starving. Yeah, 27, and then I can sell them for a lot of money elsewhere. Provided my men don't eat them. that town there. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's just traveling, he's not actually after me. Hmm. Okay, they're going out on a different raid. The thing about this quest is there's not many Nord towns I can go after. Because they have to be occupied by the Nords. So we'll just have to. Well. Yeah, I'm not catching those farmers. 
they are a bit too quick. Action, recruit some of the prisoners. Okay. Now we do lose morale for that, and she might just run away. My lord. Okay. That's all I had to do. Where are they coming from? Pretty much straight this way. Archers. If I can get to the top of this hill, I'm gonna have them hold here. I'll just follow me for now. Hold this position. Actually, no, just charge. <laughs> Just charge. <laughs> Not the best place to be uh, fighting on horseback. Go Rolf. Or, er, yes, Rolf. I got it right this time. Whoa. Careful there, Archer. He almost got me right in the head. Manhunter. There's my Nord recruit. Ooh, nice. I was actually happy with that shot. And wow, what a victory that was. <laughs> uh, farmers don't upgrade into anything special. Actually, not wine. I don't know why I'm taking half of that stuff. Before I do that, I'm going to try and... Oh, no, I can't recruit. I guess it has to be a day or something. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we are going to lose this. The only chance we have is if I get in there first. Actually, they were all on foot. Mm. 
Dang it. Yeah, once they get there, they're dead. <laughs> These guys are mostly professional soldiers. But yeah, even as bad as my uh, pole arm skills are, I can still take these most of these guys out with one hit. Ow. Oh, I received zero damage. Most of my guys are going to get absolutely decimated. And I will be really surprised if I even survive this. However, even if I do lose this battle, I still keep the experience. Ow. I just cannot stop moving. Dang it. Yeah, even if they block my, uh lance charge with their shield, it'll really damage their shield. Yeah, the smarter thing to do would have probably just been to uh, run away. Yeah, this is what I mean by you have to be very careful of uh, what fights you pick. Is this is pretty much going to be the rest of the fight? Either I slowly pick away at them, or they take me out. Which is the more likely scenario in this case. Although I am gaining a lot of polearm skill, <laughs> which helps my attack and uh, my attack speed and attack power. Oh, and enemy uh, missile combatants can and will run out of ammo. And since my horse is not a war horse, it doesn't do barely any damage if it runs into anyone. And the rest of this video will probably be just this battle. I will complete this battle, win or lose. Oh, like I just took a bullet for that other guy. Yeah, this is why I didn't put too much uh, points and lances, or pole arms, because it's just going to level up on its own anyway. I think they can also deflect um, lance charges, which doesn't damage their weapon. Darn it. 
Yeah. Got him. Yeah, you can see how tremendously overpowered uh, charge tactics are. I mean, I do still have to be careful, but as long as I'm careful, um, they either have to take my horse out, or if they're lucky, they can take me out. But the only way they can do that is probably through either a really lucky sword hit, or they just snipe me from uh, their archers. Missed all them. Like, if I stop moving, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> Plus, these guys are wearing fairly heavy armor, so even when I do hit them, I won't hit them for much. They know I can't hurt them if uh, they run into my horse, and I can't move my lance like that, so... Whoa. Yeah. level up. Yeah, my horse isn't all that fast, so I'm not getting that much of a charge bonus. And my horse isn't that well armored, so it's taking a bit more damage than I'd like. But horses are expensive. At least until I get my charisma and trade skill up. I love how this battle has just devolved into a game of keep away. Now, Rodok uh, tribesmen eventually get horses and lances. Uh, they're kind of lightly armored, though. But they're pretty good in a charge, because they still have lances. Sometimes spears, uh, which don't do couch uh, lance damage. Yeah, I can tell when... Uh, I hit their shield because it'll make a kind of a clunk sound. That thunk is me hitting them because uh, they can't get their shield up in time, probably. And the kind of metallic uh, clank is me hitting their weapon, which means they blocked it, which doesn't damage the weapon. Although I think just the sheer force of uh, a charged lance should be able to go through the block, but I guess that would be kind of unbalanced. And since my polearm skill is kind of low, um, I, it takes a while for uh, between charges, because when I hit someone, um, either their weapon or even a tree, um, it takes a while for me to uh, get ready for another charge. The higher my polearm skill, the less time that will take between uh, charges. And it'll do more damage as well.
I might even get like two, probably not three levels, but I got one level from this. This is why Nords are probably the safest people to attack uh, from horseback. Now I have been practicing a bit off camera with uh, lance charges. So I'm getting a bit better. Now, since these guys are professional soldiers, um, they have really high morale, so they should fight to the last guy. Which is probably quite foolish of him. Oh, that guy's... Oh, no, he didn't route. He was... He fooled me into thinking he was going to route. Should've kept your shield up, buddy. <sighs> Looks like they're out of missile units. By missile units, I mean bowmen. Ow. I charged a few too many people. Yeah, once my horse goes down, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> the horse is the only thing keeping me alive at this point. Now I see even though I have a lance attack ready, um, my lance keeps just kind of going up in the air on its own. glad my horse received none, because my horse is kind of half uh, done at this point. Now for foot troops, you kind of have to aim lower than you might want to. It's not a good idea for me to do this. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much doubled my polearm skill in this one battle alone. Yeah, this is the power of bounce uh, in Mountain Blade, at least when you're fighting foot troops. Kind of various hit and run attacks. Well, I think I think even the best mountain blade player in the world couldn't uh, probably couldn't stand much of a chance against all of them because that is just way too many attack attacks to block or even tank just by kind of absorbing the hits. <laughs> Although, if I do win this, I'm going to get so much loot. <laughs> Although, I think even though uh, I'm doing a little bit of damage, I mean, they can't heal, so it adds up. Yep, level 7. So I got two levels from this one battle. But yeah, see how my lance kind of skips over my horse's head? That's why I can't just attack straight on.
I wonder if this is gonna last so long that the music loops. That would be kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm really regretting not upgrading my soldiers, but at that point I don't think it would have mattered. So after this, it's probably going to be back to uh, fighting looters for a while. can't take much more of that. But I mean, I do have a bit of a field to run in, so... There we go. That was a nice hit. Oh, it's also a nice head. And since all these guys are unconscious, I can either take them as prisoner, or if I'm lucky, I can hire them right away, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm not going to get everything they drop at the end, but just from the sheer amount of uh, people. Oh, I missed. No, I actually took quite a big hit there. Ooh, I'm gonna got to make a bit more distance. what's up. <laughs> he doesn't. There we go. So I hope you're enjoying this, uh, Deadly game to keep away. <laughs> now, even though I won't heal fully after this battle, I'm pretty sure the horses. Uh, I'm pretty sure horses heal pretty much instantly. Thanks. Yeah, horse charges, even if I had a war horse, um, it wouldn't do all that much damage. Because horses are not weapons. <laughs> hmm. 
Now, Nords, there's a big difference between bravery and stupidity. Yeah, their morale's starting to run out because those guys are just going. <laughs> Although one of them's turning back. Yeah, they are not going anywhere. I have to give them credit. Credit's not going to do them much good once they're gone, but... Stop trying to run in front of me. <laughs> I know your tricks. It's a good trick, but it's a predictable one. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, if I had to choose between a fast and a uh, more armored horse, I'd probably pick the fast one. Alright. Do I win? <laughs> Yay. Uh, yikes. 25 killed, 15 wounded. So I have 15 guys left. Yeah, he managed to escape. Not much I can do about that. I will release you farmers. I will take the warriors. The trained footmen. And that's it. I have to just kind of let the rest go. And now for looting. Yeah, as you can see from the buying price, I'm going to get a lot. Plus I got really good armor now. Those boots are pretty much the same as mine. Oh, that's it. I'm actually going to transfer some of these over since I'm not going to get as much for them. carry anything else. And they got an absolute ton of experience. That's agility. What's horse archery? Agility. Those are strength. I wonder if Power Strike includes Lance Damage. Either way, that's going to go up to 107. The rest is going into Archery. Uh, shield is Agility, so I think I'll raise Agility a bit. Riding I need more of. And shield I need much more of. Uh, what is it? Trainer? Yeah. Okay, now can I go in here? No. I'm going to go into a clearing and try to end the video.
Okay, that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed that video, and sorry it was such a long fight, but I'm just glad I won. Thanks for watching.